Well, Matt, a 3 1 win over Burson. What are your thoughts on that? Huge contrast, first half to, to second half, um, and that's me being nice and, and calm in terms of the way I described the, the first half. We, we weren't good enough in that period, um, deserved to be behind in the game. Change shape early on in the game, didn't have that much of a difference in terms of the outcome of the actual pattern of the first half. We were second best, second best. Um, as always, we're honest at half time, um, tried to implement a few aspects uh, and put a few points across and um, made changes as the second half went on and looked a totally different team. Um, Jekyll and Hyde type performance, which I don't know if I'm happy or sad about, but I'm delighted that we've got three points and we backed up Tuesday night. You often mention how when the team goes 1-0 down, it's about how they react. Was it important not to go further behind in a difficult first half? Difficult first half, good way to describe it. Um, not good enough first half. Um, yeah, and holding on to something, whether it's a one-goal deficit, gives you a chance. We certainly knew that from that Wigan game. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of a reoccurrence of when it's not going our way, do we go hard or do we go soft? At the moment, we're leaning towards a little bit too much of a softness and an excuse mentality. Um, but then when they showed what they could do, not me or the substitutions or anything else, just the intent and the personality of the team in the second half was totally different. And all of a sudden, we're back, back to that Tuesday night team who are forward, forward, forward and aggressive and aggressive and just thinking, how hard can I run and how much can I compete? And that's a team I like an awful lot more and I'm sure it's the same for our supporters. Now you mentioned that second half, two quick changes with Shaq and Wars coming on. They both make an impact. What are your thoughts behind that? Well, yeah, I'll always hold my hands up. Jamie, he was, he's as honest as they come. Maybe that today's game was one game too many um, in the week, coming back from his injury. Um, it wasn't the only one, but he didn't look like he was moving as freely as we know Jamie Lindsay can. Um, so Wardy's a straight swap and we wanted to do it early to affect the game. And then obviously we've gone to a back four and you're looking at how to get Shaq on the pitch as early as you can. Um, Scotty Sinclair was outstanding yet again, first half and, and second half. Um, so it's which side you bring Shaq on. And he had his moment in terms of the goal and then he grew in confidence and fitted into what the team was. You mentioned Grant Ward there, that's his 50th appearance for Bristol Rovers. Okay. What does he add to the team, apart from the two assists and goal that he got today? Yeah, look, drive, drive. Um, I still think Wardy's getting close to where we want him, or getting closer to where we want him. Um, look, he's been through a difficult physical period, obviously, last season. Um, and we just want to keep pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. Um, and today we'll do him the world of good. Um, probably disappointed not to start the game, but then to affect it with that drive. Um, he's the only one of our midfield group or one of our middle of the pitch players who's really got that. Um, and we're a better team when he's at his best on the pitch. Um, as always, a manager's job is to get the players to play at their absolute best and at their limit. Um, I'm sure Wardy will take full heart from today and, and keep coming good for us. And Tuesday is the next game. How much are you looking forward to that to build even more momentum? Yeah, it'd be very nice if we can go to Swindon and put on a performance um, and build momentum and pick up another win or result of some sort. Um, totally different competition, obviously less pressure so associated with, with, with that competition. Uh, opportunity for players who maybe didn't feature as much this week as they'd liked. Um, opportunity for us to see different systems personnel but it's all football jargon I, I just want a Bristol Rovers team to run as hard as they possibly can um, and if that means collapsing on the pitch passing out on the pitch you know I, I just need to see it more when it's a difficult moment in the game and like I said that first half we just went to a, a type of personality and characteristic which I don't like as a manager and the fans won't accept and we have to come away from that because we're never going to be ahead all the time um, Opposition teams, especially away from home, will will be on top at times and will score, and, and that's it's, it's okay as long as you accept it in the right way. Um, at the moment, we accept it in a totally different way to which is my personality and my staff, and, and I think this culture at this football club. So, lots to address, lots to improve on, um, but a fantastic result uh, response to you know the heartbreak which was at the end of Woodford.